Welcome to this topic of discussion. We are going to talk about the in-depth look at the WWE Australia Live Tour that will happen from August the 6th until August the 8th. Now in the background, you are watching a continuing series that I do on this channel, which is WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2006 General Manager Mode, and this is episode 13. If you would like to watch the full General Manager episode, please do click down below or click on your screen. There is an annotation on the screen right now, and there is also a link in the description box below. Now let's go in depth on the Australian tour that would happen next week. Now I will be attending the Melbourne tour, which will be taking place August 7th, and this will be my third live experience of the WWE. Now this WWE Australian tour has been screwed up ever since Hulk Hogan got his racist comments leaked on the internet. Now the original plan was Hulk Hogan was supposed to be the general manager. He came to Melbourne, Australia a couple months ago, and he he promoted the tour that he was going to be the general manager of the show but after those racist comments he is no longer doing business with the WWE so in his spot in his replacement we get the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels now personally I think that's pretty cool but I can see how bad it does affect the WWE Australian tour where they're trying to boost the ticket markets with the main attraction being Hulk Hogan the biggest star in WWE history but I really like that Shawn Michaels is coming to Australia because he could potentially play a physical factor in this type of event so as we continue on about the details of the WWE Australian tour we also know that John Cena will not be attending the show as well now don't get too excited he did not make any racist comments but as we saw on the recent episode of monday night raw john cena got his nose broken by seth rollins with a knee to the face and due to that injury he will not be able to travel anywhere until the end of the final raw which will lead up to SummerSlam. now i know tons of people will be unhappy about that decision and i am too he is a main attraction to the wwe i can very much see that everybody would pay their money to see the biggest names in wrestling industry such as john cena such as seth rollins such as Roman Reigns but instead of John Cena he will be replaced by Cesaro now that those two stories are done let's go through the entire match card and let's see what we have for the WWE Australia Tour 2015. Okay, so these matches are bound to change once the show has started in each state of Australia but let's get this started let's start with the first match so we see Fandango versus Adam Rose. Personally, what kind of match is this? Why do we get this match? But let's continue on. We get the NXT champion, Finn Balor versus Bo Dallas. Now, personally, this would be awesome. If I'm not wrong, this would be Finn Balor's first time in Australia wrestling in front of an Australian crowd, which would be awesome. Now, I don't know if he has done that in his independent days, but as far as I know, first Australian tour with the WWE, that would be awesome. And I don't see Finn Balor doing his demon type body paint because it's not much of a special thing, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Next up, we see Natalia and Australia's own Emma versus Brie Bella and Nikki Bella, the Bella Twins. Now, this one, uh, just because Emma is Australian doesn't mean she has to be brought around every single time and being shown off to the Australian crowd. I mean, I don't mind her, but I'm not looking forward to watching that. And most likely, that would be my time to have a little shut-eye. Next up, we have R-Truth versus Luke Harper. Perhaps my eyes might be closed for this one too. Next up we have Neville versus King Barrett. In this one, I don't know. This has been an ongoing feud on WWE television for a couple months now. This one should be okay. You get to see the red arrow from Neville live, so why not? Now we go to our final three matches. We see Randy Orton versus Sheamus. That one should be okay, but we have seen that multiple times, multiple years. Then we also get Cesaro versus Kevin Owens. John Cena was supposed to be in Cesaro's spot, so now that Cesaro is coming to Australia, and this makes sense because they've had a storyline on WWE television for the last couple weeks, so this would be awesome to see, and I believe this match will be on SummerSlam, so we get to see it live in Australia firsthand, and hopefully this match will be awesome. And the final match, which is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, it is Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. And that match should be okay. I mean, they've always had a good chemistry with each other in every match, so this one should be cool as well. Now, most likely, one of the matches that will be occurring will have a street fight stipulation added to it. Now, all in all, I don't know about this card. This card is a little bit different. I'm not hating it, but I don't like it in a way. It's not what I'm expecting. 
I paid good money for this and I'm not thinking that I'm getting my money's worth. Now I'm taking my two brothers, my father and my sister. My sister and my dad, it's their first time. My sister loves Roman Reigns. He's not on the card. I believe she also likes John Cena, but uh, he's not on the card either. So it's going to be different. Now this is my first time that I'll be going while drinking some alcohol beverages. So I should be having a good time no matter what. And hopefully it all goes smoothly. I'll be joined by public transport, so yeah, you never know what's going to happen there. But all in all, it should be a good show. Make sure, if you want to check out my previous time that I went on a WWE Australian to a live event, make sure to click that description box below or click the annotation that's on the screen right now. That is the last time I've been to a WWE Australian tour and I've filmed every entrance that occurred that night. And believe it or not, I will do the same thing in the upcoming one, Melbourne Tour of 2015. I'll be recording some footage, and hopefully you all go to watch that next week, a day after the show has ended. Now, if you went on to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below, and also comment to let me know what you think about the WWE Australian Tour. Are you Australian? Are you a supporter of this channel from a different country, but you want to be interested in this WWE Australian Tour? But also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter to catch up with all the daily Dawn Day updates. But until next time, thanks for watching. The name is Dawn Day Evolution. The solution to the gaming community which is littered with pollution. The most electrifying man in all of entertainment. No, I'm not quoting the rock, I'm just making a statement. I am educated, dedicated, never duplicated. If you stand in my way, you're about to be a minimum. Say a life lesson is just to be on top. I live on my motto and just to be all.